for several years right now a bench coach for the Texas Rangers. And they hand it off on first down across the 20. And you just told him, you're not working today. Go watch <laughs> your son. Nice for them to keep family in mind. And that's going to be a first down run. About 20 seconds normally. And first and 10, Bouchel complete out to the edge to Ja'Cory Warwick. Blink tonight. And don't expect many replays. Bouchel has it batted in the air and out of bounds. Second and ten, back to pass again. That pass caught. About two to go. Warren picks up the first down with about two yards on 250 pounds. Going deep. Incomplete. Intended for Jacory. Opening drive for Texas here. That pass complete to Jake Oliver, the slot man. As they near and approach the red zone. Michelle, little receiver screen complete to Burke. And Burke with that world class speed that they're getting him settled in this road environment. Little pitch and catch here to start. Michelle from the backside. And he's sacked at the 32. Michelle slings it. He scored the winning touchdown in that overtime win against Notre Dame. And he finds a nice crease over the left side of that house. One and a half tons. If you're small, don't bother showing up. That time it was Warren straight ahead. Talk about big boy football. Four yard gain, first and goal. Swoops taking it out of the shotgun. Warren, oh, touchdown, Texas. Third consecutive game, a school record. Hands it off inside to Foreman. And Foreman picks up a first down. Had good rushing by his backs. You see his numbers there, six TDs, only one pick. Hands it off again, again to Foreman. Rochelle is the second and eight. Rochelle gonna pass into the end zone. Incomplete intended for have done that. Showing a lot of poise. Big 12 newcomer of the year for consecutive weeks. Tipped and almost intercepted. And so it swoops his football and he hands it off to Warren. Warren looking for a little bit of a seam and a flag down on the play. To run over a Cal defense that has struggled in the rush game. You see how they adjust and a nice gain there by Warren. It's getting off of blocks and tackling better in space. And right now, there's a size differential out there between the running backs attack. Big yell after that throw. Certainly see a lot of orange, burnt orange in the stands here. Swoops completes another pass of the 20. That's his territory. That's, his, that's been his role this season. Warren gets the call again, keeps those legs churning. And man, does he move the head injury in his chest. And it swoops his team right now on the option. Boy, what a straight on. Gets down to the 12, and he goes at 6'4", every bit of that, if not more. First and 10. Warren runs through a tackle. Still on his feet. Touchdown. As we get started here in the second quarter, Mark Jones put well, up top along with Rod Gilmore and Quinn Kessler down in the sidelines. Shane Bouchelle, who you saw a moment ago on the sidelines, is the starter. He won the job. Handoff here to Foreman, who picks up another first down. And since Shane made this, this thing work at Texas. Handed off again, and this is Foreman breaking a couple of tackles and picks up a bounce. Bond and the rest of the team follow. Really set the tone for their early season success. Sloop's going to throw it. Caught at the 23 by Foreman. Confidence that he did last year throwing the football. Well, the 18-wheeler package already in. And they hand it off to Foreman, and Foreman inside the five. That they're running through Cal Tackers. <laughs> hand off. Lunge, touchdown, Foreman. For the Longhorns, from their own 36. And Tyrone Swoops doing a good job of orchestrating this offense, a four-yard game. Coordinator Art Kaufman. Swoops going to throw it high and picked off on the tip. 
Rakocha. Off the hill and furniture as Bouchel comes back into the ball game for Texas. As we get our first 1982 reference of the Cal Stanford game. That's right. January 1st, 59. A lot of great history around here. Or not so great, depending on your perspective. Johnson making shell. The son of Steve Bouchel, the former Major League Baseball player, with another completion here. This one to Colin Johnson. Bouchel really carries himself like a young professional. On the handoff, that's Foreman. And Foreman be around no matter what kind of success they have. And a play action, Bouchel wisely throws it away. And a, a flag on the play, not sure. We have to move this program forward. We have enough talent to win now, and that's part of the talent. Deontay Foreman and a win today against Cal. Maybe 3 0 for the first time in a long time. Around the end and a first down by Deontay Foreman. Oklahoma likely to have two. Maybe Texas is your team. Led by the freshman Bouchelle. Taking a shot up top. Touchdown. What a grab, Warwick. It's on a scoring binge here in the first half. Bouchelle hands it off to Chris Warren, who's the series. Second and one. First down again for Chris Warren. Michelle pump faked a couple of times and had to throw it out of bird nade over the long hands. Pass complete to Warwick, who already has a touchdown reception. Blitz, sack, and Bouchelle rocked at the 32. See if they can get in the field goal range. For Trent Domain, or maybe a little bit more, Bouchelle taking a shot and picked off in the secondary by Rubenzer. And he's got an alley. All the way down inside the 30. Second time that Cal has led in the ballgame since they were up 7 to nothing. Bouchelle right back at you, taking a shot. And incomplete down the sideline. Trent Domain. With range right around 47 to 50 yards. Rochelle slides in safely. Let's see where they spot. You never know what you're going to see. they the Pac-12 after dark. As Foreman gets the fullback. Plenty of time to run a play. Rochelle looking to pass. Incomplete at the 35. Actually drop. I'll take a double shot. Stay with us here, Pac-12 after dark. Michelle incomplete. Broken with their time here. I would take the shot of the short pass instead of a deep one. That's what they do. Complete. Get down. Tom Oliver gets down yep. with two. And the 25, first down and 10. The way in the third quarter and a completion to Jake Oliver. And Oliver's a guy that Coach Strong calls one of his clutch players. That receiver screen broken up and almost intercepted on. Have to make sure they get to Webb with their pa pass defense. A little tackle. There's Warren. Warren with a little gain on the post. Be back right now. They're showing a one deep safety. Hand off to Warren and he picks up the first down. Breaks a couple of tackles all the way down to the 41 yard. Coming through hard to tackle. For the play and. Across the 40, it's Chris Warren and running back. Swoop's going to take it around the edge. Puts his hat down, moves the pile to the 34. Got about third down and one. Warren gets the first down easily and then some in 95, but no. <laughs> and Shell back in the ball game. He hands it off. To Foreman. That's Foreman's first. And the kettle to prove it. Second and seven. Around the edge, it's Foreman for the first down. Lots of room, but a flag down on the play. Foreman down at the eight yard line. <laughs> Second and 17. A little receiver screen to Jacory Warwick. And Warwick tackled at the. Into the eyes of the true freshman, Shane Bouchelle. 
to pass and now takes off. And stops short of the 33. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure do. Swoops completes it to Jake Oliver with another reception. The 18 wheeler going to work and Swoops picks up the first down run. Not to. Michelle back in and hands it off. Straight ahead, it's four minutes. Just to put a. Bringing it off full circle. <laughs> Number seven. Some Stanford royalty. First, actually. And this is what they do with him. Follows his lead blocker for the first down out to the Pearl Swoops from the Houston Comets. Neat. Got a little Texas wall to wall here. This time, Swoops. Stopped up. Averaging six minutes to go here in the third. Complete to the 46. And a nice flip. His dad, the former major leaguer, never forced football on him. And he almost forced that pass into an interception. It's football season. 2-0 coming in. Warren runs it into the boundary. Untouched and then put his hat down, breaking a couple of tackles. Out to the feet. hole. Backfield, Gerard Hurd, the former quarterback who. Warren again, he's been the workhorse for them tonight against Notre Dame. Michelle dropped by John Burt, who, as I have it on third down tonight. Two safeties playing back very deep. They come underneath. Complete, but way short of the first. You alternate them play to play. I don't think that works. You lose rhythm. They fake the jet sweep and hand it off up the middle of the foreman. And nothing but real estate. Untouched. Touchdown. That's been the story. And they add to the total here. That's Foreman who scored a fullback in the run game. Inside. Keep an eye on Andrew Beck leading the way there for Foreman. For 150 yards. Michelle for the next catch and run here from Foreman. A mock. This time they run it to Dion. Three yard gain on the play, second and seven. Brothers Foreman doing a job here. This is Deontay. Swoops we might see down the stretch here. Rochelle taking the snaps here, taking a shot. Foreman incomplete. And good coverage down, down by three. On the fringes of field goal range. Rochelle delivers a dart complete for the first down at the 23 to Duver. Handed off to Deontay for a minute. Go right after him. Well within field goal range right now for Trent Demay. Swoops bouncing it outside. Seven minutes to play. Hands it off and a fumble. It's on the ground. Foreman put it on the ground. Wide to the bottom of your screen. One half of the Twins, a Monty Foreman. Rochelle finds his slot receiver complete at the 18. That's all of them. But he receiver screen complete to Gerard Hurd. Take deep shots. Rochelle going to swing and now take off. And bottled up. He took a big hit. It's 7 of 14 on third down tonight. Rochelle. Brought down right around the line of scrimmage.